Hey friends, it's Elizabeth here from the Everyday Storyteller and today I'm going to be sharing the layout that I created with the March Currently Story Kit by Allie Edwards. So part of my process when I'm feeling a little bit stuck um, in my creativity is going back and looking at all of the Allie Edwards class content. Um, I've been a subscriber since 2018, so there's a lot of classes that I can go through and look at. And one of the ideas that I really loved um, that I had kind of forgotten about was this idea of pocket journaling from Stephanie Vandermeisen. She did a layout very similar to this in the Care Story Kit class. And so I used her digital download that was included in the class to create a layout for my currently page. So as you can see from the picture above, Stephanie actually spelled out the phrase caring for, and it just so happens that currently has the same number of letters, nine, um, as caring for did. So I just um, switched out those letters to spell currently and cut that out on my silhouette. So as you can see, um, I have one pocket for each letter. My pockets are not perfect by any means. Um, some of them I scored with my silhouette and some of them I didn't. So some of them I kind of had to um, figure out where the creases should go on my own. Um, so not everything is perfect, but I think it turned out really well. So now you can see I have all my pockets finished and I am just trying to decide which pattern paper I want to put those on. I really loved this flower pattern paper from the March Currently kit, but in the end I decided to go with the Currently Word Art since this layout is pretty much just going to be a bunch of journaling about what's currently happening in March. And something that I like to do whenever I'm working outside of the page projector is I like to punch my holes out first before adding anything to the layout. So that just keeps me from accidentally adding something to where the holes would be punched. Um, as you can see, I have a good idea how much spacing I need to add now that my holes are punched out. And I am going to be using this super exact and high tech method to make sure that all of my pockets are lined, AKA a scrap piece of paper. Um, and I'm just going to be using that to kind of line up my, my pockets. Um, so there's three tool row and then also three columns. I decided to use uh, red line tape to adhere these pockets down. As you can see, I ended up having to add some washi tape to each one of those um, just to make sure that they didn't fall open accidentally. Um, and I'm just going to keep adhering the red line tape to each one of those and then I'll be adding them onto the layout. Now, Stephanie actually also added a template for the tags, which is what you can see that I'm using as a scrap piece of paper right there. I end up going with some different colors. Um, uh, I ended up going with the palette of the Currently Story Kit. So I just picked out a few of the colors from the kit and recolored those tags to fit. As you can see, there's probably about two of each of the different shades, two yellow, two light greens. You get the picture. Um, and now I am just going to cut those out and I'm going to be adding them into my little pockets. And for my journaling on each one of those little tags, I loosely used the prompt currently loving or currently enjoying to talk about one thing per tag that I'm really loving lately. So as you can see, I'm just trying to add those into the pockets. Um, and then I'm going to work on the left side of the layout. Like Stephanie, I am just printing out a large full size photo. And for layouts like this that are more currently or around here themed, I really love just using a photo of like a landscape. I took this photo recently on a drive that we took and I really loved being able to include it in the album in this way. As you can see, I have a ton of white space to work with, so I'm going to be adding the March digital stamp that I cut out the same time as I cut out my pockets um, to the top of that photo right there. I believe that is from the March Stories by the Month kit, the digital version that Ali is releasing every month of 2022. And now I'm just going to be moving on to the embellishing. This layout came out really simply. I'm going to add some of those asterisks that came with the currently chipboard. And I'm just going to arrange those in a little bit of a visual triangle with one of those on the A of the march um, and then the other two on the other side of the page on the pockets just to bring those two pages together. And now I decided things were looking a little bit plain so I chose to add some of these chipboard stars. I believe these were also 
um, from the care story kit as maybe like an add-on. Um, but I decided to put one on top of each of those tags so that it adds just a little bit more interest to that page. One of the things that I really appreciate about Ellie's kits is that often you can definitely mix and match elements from different story kits. So even though the sticker sheet has a lot of pinks and reds um, from the care story kit, I found some yellows and whites and dark greens that work perfectly with the shades that are in the currently story kit. So that's a really fun thing and it helps maximize your stash, especially when you're looking at projects like this that have a bunch of different colors. Um, and that is pretty much the end of my layout. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you have any questions, leave them below, and have a great day.